Hey yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video on my channel, JTube. Yes, I did change my name, and it sounds a bit better, to be honest. And I'm still JTube Gaming, by the way, I am not a different person. So, today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a GFX profile picture, but this is the improved version. Everyone has been asking me, make your GFX with a pose, make your GFX with a bit more color, and add a prop or something. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys today. So before this video starts, I would like y'all to download the Blender 2.82a Windows 64.zip. Actually, it doesn't have to be Windows, but you can install Linux or Mac. Well, the reason we have to download an older version of Blender is something's wrong with the new version of Blender and it just can't really render the Roblox OBJs really well, like the meshes or the textures will be missing. So that's why I'm going to use a older version and I will leave all the links to everything I used in this video in the description. So if you can't find it, just go to the description, you will find everything. So I'm downloading this one, the Windows 64.zip, because I am on Windows. It's time to make the model. So first of all, I'm going to use my avatar, JTube, and we're going to insert it. So basically, this is my avatar, and we're going to have to pose it. So if you look over here, I don't really have like my usual props like the ghost or the or the menacing or the lightning aura, and that's because it will mess up the GFX a bit. So if you have any like props or anything, just delete them because uh, you don't want to make your life harder. So all I have is the sloth, my mask, and my noob. And I also forgot to mention that the character inserter is the moon animator which I will also link in the description below. So now in order to animate it, we need the animation editor 3.3.1. I will also leave it in the description below. Everything will be linked in the description below so if you guys get confused, you can just go to the description. So animation editor and we select the torso of your character and we can fully animate it. So for this one, I'm going to use this pose. This is Kaidahara Kazuha from Genshin Impact. So you can see over here, he's holding a sword with his left arm and he's like hovering it over the handle with his right arm. Okay guys, so once you've got the pose done, you need to go to your home and click your avatar. You can see over here on the explorer. By the way, don't close the explorer. It's very important. And we're going to have to anchor it. And once you've anchored it, it's only safe to exit. So now, this is the final pose. So it looks a bit weird right now. And that's because I don't have a sword. So there we go. So once we're done, we just need to export selection. So go to your explorer and go to your character, export selection, and you can put anything, like you can put the name to anything, so you can just spam and save. So first thing every Blender user does, delete the cube. So next we need the navigation, walk navigation, so it's like that, and if you want a shortcut, you go to navigation again, change shortcut, you right click and press change shortcut, and do shift and F. You can actually put anything, but I do shift and F so I don't accidentally like start walking when I press a key. So next what you want to do is go to the right side and go to render properties and film transparent. Next you go to the bottom resolution X and Y will be 2000 by 2000 pixels. So check the camera. It should be a square. And now it's time to upload everything. So go to your file, just hover over it, you don't need to click anything, import wavefront obj. And go to where you saved everything. For me, I saved it in my games. So there's the name, you will see there's an mtl and an obj. Click the obj. I don't know what mtl does and I don't want to know. So if we look around, it should be somewhere around here. So mine is over there, we can just click over here. And you can just look around for your avatar. It should be glowing orange. And now, I'm gonna use a sword that I already have from yesterday. Uh, there we go. So for the sword, I'm gonna move it around first. 
I'm gonna move it to my avatar. There we go. And next, if you wanna see it properly, we need to move the camera, of course. So we can render the image. And there we go. It should be done, just like that. And maybe if you want to make it look a bit cooler, move it to the front so it looks like more cinematic. So you can see it like clear and like the lightning will be better. So there we go. And now for the sword, we want to move it so that my character is holding it. So let's rotate this. And when you rotate it, it will go inside the gun. But don't worry, you can just bring it back up. And that should be good, so move it upwards. And there we go. That is perfect. So now we can press the fourth button over here. It's called viewport shading. So you can see the actual image. There we go. That is good. So now it's time for the lighting. The lighting is probably one of the most important ones because without the lighting, it is not considered GFX because it will look like a same old Roblox model so once you bring the light over here you should see a tiny bit of light and for this trick if you want to make it look cooler uh, you can actually just change the lighting and you can put two colors so I'm gonna do purple and pink because I like purple and pink just makes well with purple over this one I'm gonna change it to purple around here and move it to the other side Make the radius bigger and change the watt maybe to like 4000. Okay, that looks nice, but I think we need to make the color a bit darker. So let's just make it a bit darker and put it to 15,000 watts. Okay, uh, 15,000 watts looks nice, so let's move it somewhere around here. And we can see that it looks nice. So if we want to add another light, go to Shift and A. Go to light and put point. So now the color we can change it to pink or blue. I'm gonna do pink. And the power we I'm guessing 3000. So let's bring it over here. Right on the other side of our character. And make the radius bigger. And there we go. So that's the thing that we need and maybe let's make it 5000 watts because we also need a bit of pink and let's move it a bit backwards okay so once that's done to even out the colors maybe you would have to maybe like put it over here so let's go out of camera mode shift and a Add another light point and this time we're gonna make it light purple so like light purple like that 3000 watts and you can put it anywhere on your character for me I have a mask so I'm gonna put it inside the mask so bring it over here and then bring it a bit forwards and you can put it inside the mask just like that so now it will look cool and it will glow it will glow like really nicely so maybe let's make it 5000 watts yep 5000 watts looks really nice so maybe over here we can try changing it to a white one let's see how that will look like and yep that looks really nice actually So there we go guys, so that's the image, so once we're done and we're satisfied with it, we can press render image, and there we go, that looks so cool. So the trick is if you guys want to put a good lighting, you guys need like a mask or something that has like a glowing aura. So for me, I'm gonna, I put it in the eye, so once we're done, image, save as, and you can put it anywhere. And you can put the tube sword dot png. That's what I'm gonna name it. And we are done. So if you guys want to put a background, you can go to any editing app and you can just put it. But for now, here's my GFX and it looks really nice. So thank you guys for watching this video. If this video helped you guys, please leave a like and subscribe and 
this uh, took quite a long time to master. So here's an example. My other GFX from yesterday. This actually took three and a half hours to make because I was still trying to figure out the formula for making GFX. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video once again. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.